You know, it's funny. This is like actually more like closer to like emo music. <laughs> What's going on, all you lovely people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike Ahora, and this is a lovely penguin. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back, welcome back. Today, we are heading back over to TXT to check out Good Boy Gone Bad, right? Let me just double check. Good Boy Gone Bad. Don't know what that song's about. Assuming it's about a good boy who after a series of events goes bad <laughs> i'm teasing you guys i don't know we'll see i uh i've absolutely loved txt so far i think uh the, i mean i've only heard two of their songs in fairness but i think they're both awesome and uh i'm excited to hear more from these guys because they're quite entertaining and they make some pretty cool videos so we're gonna watch the uh, actual music video we'll watch it once without subtitles then with subtitles then we're gonna watch the making of and we will uh, get to see a little bit of the behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? But uh, before we get into that, guys, make sure that you are subbed to the channel because we want to keep on growing. And the only way I can do that is if you guys help me. And uh, right now, I believe only 15% of you guys who are watching these videos are actually subbed. And uh, that hurts. Let's make it 50%. That's also low. Let's go 100%. Yeah, there you go. That's what's up. All right, cool. So let's dive right in, okay? Okay. Here we go, here we go, big hit time. Alrighty, we got a trash kid. Oh. Sounds like we already got bad boys. Right off the rip. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. That's like, it's first off, the first few verses are definitely, they they definitely run real smooth. But that last little bit there, I don't know if that's like a bridge. I don't know what that is even called, but that's kind of haunting. We're gonna be honest. I was, I kind of like it though. <laughs> Or is this a chorus? Nah, here we go. Ooh. So interesting. They uh they definitely are going on the harder rock on this uh song. <laughs> definitely got that like kind of that heavier rift in the background, which I like. I mean, that's right up my alley of things that I enjoy. But it's interesting because it's the the like the they got that heavy heavy rift, but then also like kind of the light singing, the light melody. So it's definitely it's a cool mix. I really I'm I'm liking this already. Ooh. 
Sorry, this is just a really cool set that they got here. This whole graveyard thing that they got going on, it's actually really dope. Plus, it's an extra little touch, but having that heavy fog just kind of rolling over the floor in the back, that's a really, really nice touch. Uh, the way that you get that actually isn't from a fog machine, because fog machines will typically make the fog that'll just kind of flow down into the air and dissipate. That is more um, dry ice and water. You just drop it in there and it, it makes this like heavier, thicker smoke. And then it'll just kind of cruise along the floor. Uh, but yeah, dude, this is a this is a cool, cool set. Like also the out like the whole out in the streets and like the alleys and stuff kind of throwing me through a loop on if this is a, if they built that on a set or if like they actually are out in some street somewhere. So that's probably going to be a thing we'll have to wait to see in the uh, making of video. Because th I'm pretty sure this is a, all built onto a set, but even still, it's it's so fitting for this song. It's incredibly well done. And even the dance moves are like kind of creepy. They had a motorcycle crash in one of the other videos too. Interesting. I like them back. Oh. Is okay. Is this song also tied into, or sorry, not the song, but the video? Is it also tied into the kind of storyline that they have going on here? Um, because I think, and forgive me, I don't remember who was who in the videos, but I believe in the last one that we just watched, it was supposed to be like the the rest of the boys all died and then the one guy was like kind of like imagining his friends were there with him uh, and then I'm assuming this is like the next step of him like he moved into a city and now he's like kind of losing his mind and like I think that's what all the death is about like while they're in a cemetery and everything and then, uh, yeah, he's the one who's like in the trash bags and stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think I figured it out, guys. I think so. I think so. Interesting. See, like they are burying their friend because he wants to die and be with his friends. All right, let's watch it back one more time. This time with subtitles on. Let's see what they're actually singing about here. Interesting video, though. Like this is so well decorated.
What did he say there? I just kill me, killing me. Okay, so. Hmm. I think this is like. <clears throat> excuse me. I think this is more like when you're coming out of being depressed and you're kind of taking a little bit more like haphazard lifestyle up where you're not like really out of being depressed. You're just not like, you know, kind of whimpering and cowering and like staying in bed and all that kind of stuff. And like, you're kind of living a little more reckless. And I think that's kind of what they're going for. And it's like, I, they keep saying about like, I just kill me, killing me. And it's like, I think they're talking about like killing off that part of themselves, not actually themselves, but uh, just a piece if you would. And, uh, that's how you kind of become a bad boy. You stop caring about things. You stop caring about people. So I think that could be what we're uh, going for here. But yeah, interesting. I love I love the fact that these guys are not shying away from tough topics. So that's pretty pretty dope. <laughs> Yo, I'll say this, man. Like, what they're describing is, like, such a tough thing to describe. And it's, like, because it's not giving up on yourself. It's not giving up on life as much as it's just kind of giving up on the life you were living prior to uh, getting depressed and whatnot. Yeah, basically, it's just, like, stopping caring, essentially. And, like embracing the pain rather than like running from it i know that sounds kind of crazy but like kind of been there done that type deal for me but it's weird because i've never really talked about it or had to explain it so my words are kind of failing me a little bit but these guys are doing a pretty good job i just, kill me with all the pain I just don't care anymore Dude, these this part's so like haunting. The pre-chorus. That's a really, really interesting video. And I'm like, I'm half wondering if 
there could be like the slightest implication of like drug use and alcohol abuse as well in this because like that's another way that people kind of handle depression it's another way people handle when things get tough in their lives it's a way of like killing yourself in order to escape yourself you know and people kind of feel like they're numbing the pain from doing that kind of stuff uh not saying you should be doing any of that kind of stuff i don't agree with it myself but uh i wonder i wonder if that also kind of plays into this but either way i think that song is sick first off sounds amazing sounds really cool i really like how uh tough and gritty the song is but then also like dude that pre-chorus is like haunting dude haunting you know and like i kind of love it i kind of love it man it's really sick so big fan still very different it's less catchy uh than like lover or loser lover or uh uh zero by one equals uh what was it shoot i don't remember what the rest of the name was but you guys know what i'm talking about yeah, I loved it. I thought it was really great. I'm curious to see the the making of first, and then we'll talk art stuff uh, after that as well. Okay, let's do it. Boy, come here. The music video, 촬영 일일 차고요. 저를 스타트로 일일 촬영을 시작을 하게 되었습니다. 와. Okay, so they did make these sets. 오랜만에 포스터를 떼면서 이렇게 멋있는 표정을 진행해 찍었는데요. 처음부터 아주 멋지게 나와서 이런 스타트가 굉장히 좋지 않나. 트라이즈 아웃 뉴 컨셉. Yeah, no, this is definitely a pretty new thing. You know, it's funny. This is like actually more like closer to like emo music. <laughs> That's probably why I like it. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, man. I can't have the different emotions. Young John. Today, <laughs> 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 So, actually, before we get moving, it's interesting too because you can actually see, like, uh, they have the art people here where they built up this pile of trash bags, which none of it's like genuine trash. It's all going to be just like extra paper and stuff, maybe even blankets and stuff like that, something soft that he can lay on, but they're just tied away in garbage bags. And then I believe. When they do that shot where the bags go over him, they literally are just pushing the bags in. Like you could see the art people, they're blurred out, but uh, pretty sure they're the ones that are just pushing the bags in on him. There's also a lot of little flowers and stuff, which probably are reused from that telephone booth that we will be seeing in a little bit. Uh, as well, just adds a little bit of texture and color 
to just the regular black trash bags. <laughs> nice. And then they're steaming the mirror to make it all foggy. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see how they had the steamer? That's like what you'd use for clothes. You just spray it on the window, it makes a nice condensation for him to whoosh away. It's like somebody who's taking a hot shower. Little simple tricks like that, guys. Little simple tricks. <laughs> Kind of hard to do. He's a good boy. Hi. <laughs> You've never been angry at him. Oh. Uh, say the Pokemon uh, bread? <laughs> That's me. I will say that is a great, great shot right there. Uh, simple, simple enough thing to do is uh, obviously they have water running through these pipes, but I wouldn't be surprised if they had smaller hoses in there. Just they don't have to fill up the whole entire thing with also holes going through in order that it'll spray out like that. Uh, and it kind of helps with the water pressure so that it actually sprays rather than just dribbles out. Because a pipe that, like, with that much of a diameter will, it's a lot harder to get that much pressure uh, while you're on a set. So most likely there's like a smaller tube inside, if not like a hose, that they drill through both and it's shooting out through both. I will say he does look real tough. Bye. Good boy, come back. Good boy, come back. You know, it's funny. A little giveaway that this is a set. I mean, obviously they just said it was a set, so we know it's a set. But the fact that there's this, uh, the wire coming down off of a street light like that, like a light for outside, Typically is not what would happen. Usually you drill into the wall and then like run the wire inside so people can just rip that light off the wall and take it. Um, but yeah, little, little, little subtle things. Oh. For more advanced anger. I stomped on it too hard. Nice. Also, I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, when he kicks over the big sign, they put down this pad here so that they don't break the sign every single time he kicks it. And then they have to replace the whole sign because if it hits the floor, it's just going to break. So, yeah, they have them kick it onto a pad and they add in. Actually, I don't think they even need to add in the sound effects because the song's playing. But, uh, yeah, another little trick. <laughs> Is that how you say his name? Hyuninkai? 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 Let me know if I said that right. 
Try my best. Turn around, buddy. Oh, this is the phone booth. Sorry. So yeah, this is the phone booth I was talking about. Obviously, they took a th phone booth. They kind of painted it up with rust. Like I said, it's just spray paint, like brown spray paint that you can make it look rusty. And then they added in all this foliage to make it look like it's been overgrown and abandoned. And uh, yeah, it adds a lot of cool little flavor to it. But yeah, for the most part, um, all that stuff, all this like ivy, it's just plastic. It's not actually real. You can, weirdly enough, you can rent this as well. And uh, I've rented it for a bunch of different projects I've worked on, so we'll be surprised if they rented that as well. He broke the window. Whoops. <laughs> it is very dark. Maybe more extreme. Dude, also, this video came out super well done super well done so it's funny watching him do the takes over and over but yeah like when when an a, or a director is saying like no i need more i need it to be more expressive like sometimes it really does work in your favor especially in music videos because you don't actually hear what they're saying or doing but you get to see it so the more animated it is it's easier to tell what's going on <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this graveyard set's amazing. <laughs> Yo, like, seriously, it's so funny how, like, these guys just seem like such little sweethearts. But, like, they have to be dressed up so dark and... Because this is a dark and edgy video. Uh, so it's definitely outside of their, their realm of the norm. So, but they did a great job. <laughs> yeah, he does. It is pretty fierce. <laughs> Good job, boys. I was so happy to see the set. 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 I was this eye is great. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna look at this eye real quick, because this thing is pretty sweet. Uh, it looks like, obviously, uh, a big circle. It looks like they might they might have made it out of, uh, like, a metal circle here. Um, 
Yeah, I think I think this is like pieces of metal all put together, strung together with like another little small circle in the middle here where they attach them all together. Uh, this middle piece looks like it's plastic that they just painted on to make like the dark eye and then like the darkness and then like probably scrape away some of the paint to make those like little like lines coming out. But honestly, I think one of the better touches that I didn't even notice it from a distance, but it definitely adds a lot to it is this uh, like cobweb uh, stuff that they put in between the bars here. So it kind of covers the bars a little bit, but adds like a little bit of whiteness as well to the eye that, uh, yeah, it just has a good texture, honestly. Pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. Not something super hard to build for an art person, but still, it, it it's executed incredibly well here. <laughs> The smog was slippery. Must be some thick fog, man. Ah, they got a bridge. Oh, cool. It's got water around it, huh? Let's go. Here we go, the bike part. Okay, so they did go on location for this part. You can see at the far end of the tunnel, you can't see because it's paused now, but you can see those little flashing lights. It's police just blocking the, blocking the road so they can film. It does look great. Oh man, that looks sick, dude. Oh man, I mean, that's definitely the pyrotechnics team. That's not art, but uh, that looks so good. See, they got safety experts. That's what's up. I like Yo, if Mo is not happy with this video, like this video is stunning. This is a really, really good music video. Yo, honestly, I don't even have anything extra to say about that. That was awesome.
that was so well done like stellar stellar performances i uh i thoroughly enjoyed everybody in that video i thought they killed it the dancing was great the music was great and it just all matched up just right just right to make a really satisfying video uh yeah so txt crushed it you guys did an amazing job if you guys ever see this congrats because that was awesome i thoroughly enjoyed that uh but yeah guys let me know if you want to see more txt let me know what else you want to see and uh yeah make sure that you're sub to the channel make sure that you like the video share it with somebody and uh yeah guys i think that'll about do it so come check me out on twitch come check me out on of your other social media and all that down there below and uh we will catch you on the next one so stay aggressively positive have a fantastic rest of your week i love you guys goodbye